Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to so another video, and this video is going to be on how to use the custom icon mask feature in Torngate, or Torngate, not really sure how you pronounce it, but as you can see, so we're going to get that working, and I finally just figured it out. Uh, someone actually did request this, and I will put their name up here, screenshot. Mr. Healy, 16BC, actually asked uh, if I can find out how it works, and I actually did, so thank you very much for requesting that. So, as you can see in Torngate, as you can see, it is for iOS 11 to 11.1.2. It does not work on any other version, so just please do not ask if it works on iOS 11.2. It only works on iOS 11.1.2 and below. So, um, next thing what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description below, and it's going to bring you to this page. So, as you can see, we have three options, custom, in progress, and presets. I recommend you do not try the in-progress ones because those are the ones that the developer is currently testing and he's not sure if they work on all devices and you may not be able to access your icons, etc, etc. So just try and keep away from those. I'm going to be focusing on the custom and the presets one. So as you can see, if I click on custom, we have all of these icons uh, right here. So these are all uh, icon masks. And one of the ones over here is gradient version 2, if you can see that right there and they look really cool. This is gradient version 2 right there, so as you can see it looks really really cool and there are a bunch of other ones so I'm not going to go in depth really on how like all of them work but basically what you want to do is just make sure you have torn got or torn gate and if you want to know how to do that just go to the other link in the description. I have a video on how to install that and then once it, come, once it shows up click on run and continue and then just wait for it to go through. And then as you can see, we have all these options. We're going to focus on the icon mask feature. And then you're just going to want to click on custom. Go back to the web page. And just choose whatever you like. So you can either choose that, or if you click on return to list, and you click on presets, we have a much, much bigger list, as you can see. And if you want to know what all those are, go to the other link in the description. And this will show you what they all look like. So as you can see, it's a big, big list. So for instance, if you like this one, leafy, whatever this is called, you just copy that, then go back to this, and then if you don't feel like finding it, just click on the share, go over to find on page, and then just paste it. And as you can see, we have it right here. Click on copy, go right in here, click on URL, click on paste, and then click on apply. And then it'll just go through that process. Now if you do get something that says failed, I'm also going to link this, this is the Reddit post, um, he actually talks, if you get failed, no data was received, make sure that you have it as HTTPS, not HTTP, and, um, and then if you have another problem, you can just go here and add the mask to his like Google spreadsheet list and it'll help in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I um, really hope you guys like it.